Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. Now back in January of this year, I started this journey on trying to find ways to help me feel better, look better, and live life more fully. Now one of the triggers of that was when I went to a doctor's appointment, it was a windy day, I went into the restroom, I turned on the light, and I turned to face the mirror, and it was like I got punched in the gut. My hair was short at that time, probably only about that long, and the wind again had blown it, but the way the light of the ceiling was coming down, it was like there was a spotlight on my scalp. I was stunned with how thin my hair was. I had known it was thinning, but I'd never seen it in that respect, and I was just devastated. I can't think of any other word for it. So at that point, I was trying to find ways to thicken my hair, find ways to help my skin look better. Because up to that point, I wasn't working out. I wasn't doing anything with my hair. I was going with whatever, whatever shampoos I had. I really wasn't taking care of myself. So I came across a woman who was recommended to me, an Ayurvedic, and she suggested I try coriander tea. She said maybe my thyroid was slow. Now a couple months earlier, I had had a blood screening and my thyroid was checked and I was within the normal range. But she said it didn't matter that still my thyroid could be sluggish and that could be a reason for it. Now she did say the fact I had let it go so long, it might not come back, but even if that was the problem. So I suggest anyone and that you jump on it as soon as you know there's a problem. Uh, she gave me the recipe for a basic coriander tea and said take it morning and night for 40, 42 days. I can't remember which. And that that would kick start your thyroid if that was the problem and that would help. Now, I do think that helps some. And I've had a few friends who that's the only thing they did and they saw their hair thickening up a bit. But also this year, I in August, I went on a plant-based diet, so I cut out meat, fish, dairy, eggs, and a year ago, I had started on veggie and fruit capsules. And I also forgot to mention, I have been doing the inversion table. Now, if you're not familiar with that, it's a table where you buckle your ankles in and then you go upside down or at an angle. Now, I already had the table. I used it several years ago when I had some back pains but I had read somewhere earlier in the year that if you have if, do the inversion table, it gets blood to your skin and your hair follicles and that it could help promote hair growth. And it also is supposed to help your posture. So I've been using the inversion table five to 10 minutes a night. I'll put all of this in the comments below in case you're interested, but I wasn't trying just one thing, not taking any supplements other than a B12. So it wasn't anything like that but my hair is getting thicker and it's pretty darn exciting. Now for me, the thinness is like here up and I'll put some pictures in, but you literally could see my scalp through my hair and I was at the point where I was coloring my scalp so it didn't stand out quite so much. Now it's still thin and it may never grow back uh, fully, but it's, a lot thicker than it was. But things are changing obviously for me internally and I'm hoping those will continue to change. I started exercising. I'm doing, hitting it from all aspects of my life. So I just thought I'd give you an update. I'll put in a couple of the pictures so you can see how thin it was. It's kind of hard to see on the current picture, but hopefully you can get an idea but anyway that was just an update uh, i'm encouraged by the change i hope it tells you that if you're in your 60s like me or later it's never too late to make changes in your life if you're in your 30s 40s or 50s jump on the bandwagon sooner if there's any aspect of your life that you don't like change it don't be like me and wait until you have a problem or until you get so totally in the funk that you are forced to deal with it. Deal with it as soon as you see the problem. It can make a big difference. As always, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. Until next time, bye-bye.